everybody. I'm Rebecca and I would like to introduce myself. I have a crafting channel uh, uh, down below. You'll find a description to the, and a link to the crafting channel, but this is my new channel where I have started my own business called The Leftovers. Um, this is something my son, my sister and I, we all do together and um, just something we thought would be really fun and help supplement our income. So what we've done is we did our first garage sale today. I hope you guys enjoy the footage. Take a look at the end. I'm going to show you what I bought and what it's probably worth. And I am very surprised. So I did pretty good. Take a look. So I forgot to put the video on, but I picked up these for $2. Michael, Michael Kors. Practically brand new. I didn't see much of anything. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. How are y'all? We're good. good. We're neighbors. We just live right over there. Oh, okay. We're good. We'll Look give you the elephant. neighborly deal. The neighborhood deal, women's <laughs> jeans, 12 to 16, prices of mark. I've got a lot of 12 to 16 <laughs> jeans for a good reason. <laughs> right. They don't fit. Do yeah. <laughs> These are dang jeans. Yeah, I don't, and then there's some small girls. Yeah, anything with AD on them on the blues, my daughter's in there. I'm gonna take these. You wanna okay. put them aside? Okay. These jeans were out all day yesterday, and I think I seen one pair. So, oh, well, they're not gonna fit me, but I, I, I got grandkids, you know. Thank you. Gene, there's some cute shirts here. Good morning. Ooh, very pretty. Very pretty. Oh. There's more over here, too. Find anything you like? I found it all kinds of stuff to use for my artwork. Those are pretty. Oh, okay. Yeah, We've got some shirts over there, there that you might like. Where's Abby's bike? Oh, 
Ooh, baseball cards. And here's some more pendants and stuff. You just dump them in there when you get done. You don't want to go through them. You're fine. I was just trying to get them out. <clears throat> Just those two? Oh, no, we'll find out. Oh, okay. Wait till the ladies get done first. Oh, everybody wants to see the jewelry. Okay. I'm just wait for you to get done. No in a hurry. Oh, y'all are staying cool. Yeah. We found a little shade we can find. Yeah. Oh, man. You guys got me with the cross stitch, Bucks. Whoa. Oh, plastic canvas, too, huh? So who cross stitches? Oh, uh, I did. Yeah. You don't anymore? Well, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. Exactly. <laughs> I do it, but I have like this. Um, Magnifying type thing almost. You don't have to. It's a light thing that goes <laughs> over your neck. <coughs> and oh, it just uh, has lights here and here. Oh, it uh, helps tremendously. <laughs> but now I've got the arthritis and the hands and, yeah. you know, so I do. Uh, more crocheting than cross stitch now. Yes, I, see, I can still crochet. Oh, I love salt and pepper shakers. I've got too many. Oh my gosh, these are so adorable. Who's the Xboxer? Is that you? <laughs> no. Not anymore, huh? You 
gave it up. Oh, he's PlayStation. Switch. Switched over to PlayStation. Gotcha. Gotcha. I still got my Xbox. By that. And Nancy Drew. Yeah. Oh, let me see if there's anything else. Oh wow. No, I didn't see those. Oh how cute. It's nine. I'd sell all three for five. I want you to take the box. I'll take them. I'll take them. Yeah, I know I'll take them. Because you can stack them like this, you put them on the shelf. So thanks for watching. All right, let me show you what I got. Um, you didn't see me buy it all, you know, I because I did edit a lot of the footage. I the camera work was not the best. <laughs> um, I had I, I've got to get used to the camera work, so I, I will get better at that. I promise. I'm used to talking to a still camera every morning. Um, but one of the things I purchased was this 1968 publication of Nancy Drew. It's called. 
Uh, it's number 29. It's Mystery at the Ski Jump. I got it for a dollar and it is really in fantastic condition. I'm not, you know, brand new condition, but I mean, no, I don't think anybody's read this book. It looks like nobody has read this book. Prices for this are all over the place on eBay. Uh, so I may end up keeping it because I just, I have such fond memories of Nancy Drew reading it as a child. And I just, it just kind of tickles my heart to see Nancy Drew. I don't need to keep all this stuff I buy. I know, I know. So one of the first places we went, um, jeans. Oh my gosh, all these Levi jeans here. I think I got six pairs and I bought them for anywhere from three to five dollars. I can sell each pair of these jeans for about fifteen dollars each. So not a huge profit, but those will be listed on Poshmark. They most of them are size 14. Um, I got this athletic shirt, which uh, these it's an athletic brand. It's a 3X. So this is, it says, <laughs> stand together, very patriotic. I don't know if it's a man's or a woman's, but these sell for about 12 bucks. I got that for $2. This is a um, Silver Creek, a Salt Creek uh, sweatshirt. And these sell for about $20. And I paid a dollar for that. And it's in really good condition that um, all the clothing will be listed on Poshmark and I will put a link to my Poshmark down in the description. Um, I got these beautiful Michael Kors shoes, little girl shoes, perfect condition. Um, I looked online, these sell for about $30. I, oh God, what did I pay for them? I think five, five dollars. Um, not a lot, but the little girl, she doesn't wear them. They have these little fur tongues. I don't know if you can see. Super, super cute. Yeah, so I'll get some money out of those. The biggest surprise, you're not even going to believe the biggest surprise. I also got these boots are fantastic. I can't find the brand on them, but red boots sell pretty well from my understanding on eBay. And I can list these compared to what I've seen on eBay. They are, they do look leather. They're size 10 women's obviously, or uh, if you men want to wear them, that's fine with me too. These beautiful like watercolor painted flowers on this side. Oh, they look like stuff I would paint on my crafting channel. Um, yeah, so these I'm going to list for $29, $30, yeah. And this, we went into the bougie neighborhood down, you know, the next town over, not where I live. Um, and I got this. It's called Romeo and Juliet Couture. This sells used $45. I got it for $5. I think that's pretty good if it if it sells. Look how super cute that is. $45 for that. Where am I gonna put all this stuff? Then I got these Columbia boots. Same, same, same house. You should have seen this house. Oh my god. Um uh, she said new. I think they've been worn. I see I pretty I see some worn wear, wear and tear on the inside, but the outside's perfect um columbia snow boots so i can list these i probably get about 20 bucks for these um yeah now here i just went to this one garage sale they didn't have much at all and i just happened to see these cute little beanie you know tie beanie things look at this this one's a penguin and um, this is just one of their regular line. So this one they had on sale for a dollar. This one was on sale for three. So I said, hey, I'll give you $2 for both. Okay, so $2. This one is a convention exclusive Ronald McDonald bear. Um, it is selling out of the box anywhere from five bucks to $200 on eBay. This is in really good condition with the tag. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna list it for, but I don't wanna go high. I don't wanna be on the high end. So I'm thinking maybe $40 range. You know, I just wanna get, get to make a little profit on it um, and see if it'll sell. But oh, 
How adorable is that? that this was the treasure. One dollar I spent. How cool is that? So I will keep you posted on my progress, what sells, what doesn't sell. I'm going to learn from all of this. And um, my job ends the end of this month. And then I'll be doing this full time. And I think it'll be uh, an adventure for all of us. So see you in the next video.